الرحمن الرحيم هذا الفيديو رح يكون فيديو قصير وسهل رح نحكي فيه عن الهايبوباراثيرويدزم and men syndromes بالنسبة للهايبوباراثيرويدزم it is a rare disease طبعا الهايبوباراثيرويدزم is commoner the causes of hypoparathyroidism include surgical removal of the parathyroids. خصوصا إذا السيرجن wants to remove the thyroid, he might accidentally remove all the four parathyroids, and this will cause hypoparathyroidism. أو إنه يكون في congenital problem, congenital absence of the parathyroids, and this occurs by disease اسمه the Georgi syndrome, بيكون associated with thymic hyperplasia. Autoimmune hypoparathyroidism also can occur. There is problem autoimmune destruction of the parathyroids. So these are the causes. Clinically, the patients will have hypocalcemia, and this will result in sensitive nerves and uncontrolled spasms, especially of the hands. Of course, you will treat by giving supplements, calcium and vitamin D. What about men's syndromes? What do you mean by men's syndromes? Not this men. We mean uh, multiple endocrine neoplasia. So the patients have neoplasms, which are multiple and uh, occur in the endocrine gland. So if you find a patient, if you see a patient who has uh, two or more endocrine uh, glands having neoplasms in them, in them think that this, this might be part of men's syndrome. He might be having a familial uh, disease. Now the neoplasms occurring in men's syndrome share certain characteristics uh, which are that they are all inherited, uh, they occur at a younger age than their normal counterparts and they affect multiple organs and even in the same organ they are multifocal. Multifocal means that one organ containing more than one neoplasm so you might have more than one adenoma in one gland and these lesions are aggressive so if you have uh, adenomas of the um, uh, pituitary gland for example uh, the pituitary adenomas in the setting of men's syndrome are more aggressive than their sporadic counterparts so these are may the features shared by all neoplasms occurring in the setting of men syndromes. Now we have two types of men syndromes, men 1 and men 2. They differ by the mutations uh, in these patients. Men 1, the mutation is uh, in an, a tumor suppressor gene located in chromosome 11. In men 2, the mutation is in red oncogene. Note that both men 1 and men 2 are inherited in an autosomal dominant manner. Regarding MIN1, it affects three organs, pituitary gland, pancreas, and parathyroids, the three Ps, pituitary, pancreas, parathyroid. In the pituitary, these patients will have pituitary adenomas. They might have multiple macroadenomas, and the most common adenoma is the prolactinoma. They have the sporadic cases. Prolactinoma is the most common in the sporadic and inherited setting. Regarding parathyroids, the patients with MIN1 will have parathyroid hyperplasia. In the pancreas, multiple neuroendocrine tumors occur. And these are aggressive. And actually, the leading cause of death in patients with MIN1 syndrome is the neuroendocrine tumors in the pancreas. So MIN1, autosomal dominant, tumor suppressor gene affected, and the three glands affected are the pituitary, the pancreas, and the parathyroid. Regarding MIN2, let's start with MIN2A. In MIN2A, three organs are mainly affected, parathyroids, we will have parathyroid hyperplasia, adrenal medulla, and we will find pheochromocytoma. And the thyroid will have neoplasms, mainly a medullary thyroid carcinoma. So these are the three organs affected in men to 
meant to be differs in that few chromosomes occur, medullary carcinomas occur, but there is no hyperparathyroidism. Instead, there are extra endocrine manifestations. So the patient will have endocrine tumors, few chromocytoma and medullary thyroid carcinoma, and they will have symptoms not related to the endocrine system. These include morphinoid features, long hands, long feet, and the patient will also have some benign tumors um, called ganglioneuromas. Note that this tumor is composed of small cells, neural cells, admixed with large ganglion cells. That's why we call it ganglioneuroma. Uh, this tumor occurs mainly in the GI tract and in the um, mouth and tongue. Uh, as I said, MIN2A is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion, and it is caused by a mutation in the RET proto-oncogene. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the theater hall to discuss diabetes, which is going to be our last lecture in this semester. Thank you very much.